Sorry about that. I was scaling Lucky's ego. Alright, alright. I'm sorry, Lucky. You had your shot at me, and that was my turn. That's all I needed. Anyway, guys, this week's topic is childhood memories, and for legal reasons, I'm gonna leave out the ones involving three clowns and a court order. My childhood memories consist solely of video games. Like, there's something else here and there that I dabble on, but video games consumed a lot of my childhood. And just to prove how nerdy I actually was and still am, uh, I'm gonna be wearing this authentic Tekken arm sleeve, which I won in a contest on Twitter with accompanying bandana. Um, this uh, Wiimote, as if it were some sort of actual workout device, and uh, just for shits and giggles, why not? L a little toad guy. You know, toad, the, uh, the mushroom that Princess Peach was liable to pull out of her vagina at any point in any sort of game that she was in. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my childhood was fantastic. I'm not saying that I had some sort of deprived life with absolutely no friends. I'm just saying that video games were always there for me. If I had some sort of trouble at school and my grades were going bad or something, Donkey Kong 64 was always there for me. Boy, sorry to change and you think nobody understands you because you're going through puberty? PlayStation the day away. Whatever you do, you always, always stock up on AA batteries. I'm serious, you don't want to get caught without that shit. But now that I've matured a little bit and I've realized that having a social life is a lot better than having three level 70s on World of Warcraft, um, I've come to realize that, that being such a nerd is not is not exactly what, what I should consume my entire life with. So um, yeah, you can still catch me on PlayStation and on Xbox, but I'm not going to be screaming at you to go f*** your mother if you get a headshot on me. Although, to be honest, I was always actually pretty much a humble video gamer. But Christ, 12-year-olds nowadays are violent. Mm, yeah, what now, motherfucker? I got a headshot on your ass. Mmm, mmm, lick these nuts, motherfucker, yeah! What you gonna do? What you gonna- Mom! 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 I don't wanna eat your fucking dinner! Oh shit! Oh shit, headshot! No scope! I'm serious, 12-year-olds curse a lot nowadays. To be clear, no, you're not having a stroke. Yes, the lighting did just change. Yes, my hair is completely different. And yes, it did take me two days to film this video. You know what, just confuse you guys even more. There, look, now it's completely different. Hey, I'm wearing a hat now. Crazy, whoa! Anyway, straying away from the topic of... of video games, the thing I remember most about my childhood, other than video games, is being in the class clown. Is it bad that I hung out with people that were maybe three or four years older than me and they taught me what the penis game was in second grade? For those of you that don't know what the penis game is, the rules are as follows. First, yell penis as loud as you can. Second, whoever yells at the loudest wins. Needless to say, I was teaching people what a penis was so they could actually play the game. But I mean, who am I kidding? We have five hilarious guys in this channel. I'm not the funniest. I mean, I'm sure all of you were class clowns when you were younger. I mean, hell, look at Leo's video yesterday. Being hilarious obviously runs in his family. I mean, that was a hilarious practical joke that his mom pulled by putting a piece of chicken in between her legs. Hey, at least they were being safe, though. They had plenty of balloons and ranch dressing on hand. That was good. I'm just kidding, Leo. I love you. I just, I just had to pull that black card once. I mean, we're collab buddies. I figured that'd be acceptable, right? Anyway, Leo, uh, there's a heart for you that's totally not homosexual or anything, but anyway, Comment below, tell me what you think about video games, which, which ones you played, if any, and uh, if not, tell me a story about, about a class clown that either you knew or even if you were one. Just tell me a story that, that stands out in your head. Anyway guys, I'm Ricky Thrills and I am so excited for next week. Yes! Oh, I need to throw something! Yeah! Oh god.